What's going guys, it's Deathmonk here. Today we're going to be checking out the next um, event in PGA Tour 2K21. Uh, this one's going to be taking place at TBC Summerlin and we're going to be doing the Shriners Hospitals for Children Open. Uh, basically we've got, still got uh, two objectives to complete for our sponsor, uh, which is the Golf Club. So um, this one we're going to be we're going to be taking this on right now guys. So. I'm going to get straight into this, guys. Not messing about. We've still got a fish around in the PGA Tour. The score of minus four or better. Managed to get minus three in the last episode. And we managed to get three out of the possible six birdies. So, um, we're currently tied for third with 134 points. Alongside Patrick Cantley and Gary Woodland. Adam Scott and Justin Thomas are above us. So, I'm just going to see how well we get on with today's episode here, guys. So, this one should be fairly exciting. Uh, hopefully, I wish, I wish um, they would do something about this long loading times, but um, try best to get some decent gameplay for you guys. PGA Tour event brought to you by 2K Sports. Today's coverage of the Shriners Hospitals for Children Open is about to start. Luke Elvey alongside Rich Bean here in Las Vegas. It's known as Thin City, but we're at TPC Summerlin for the golf. What's this course like? This golf course historically plays firm and fast and yields lots of birdies. So players right. going into this week know full well that they have to have the putter going. They need to hit a lot of greens, but they also need to make sure that they're making five, six, seven birdies a day out there. Because if they're not, if they're struggling with birdies and only making pars, then the entire field is going to pass them by. It's a great opportunity because historically the wind doesn't blow very much and all the par fives are reachable. But still, having to make birdies, knowing you need to make birdies, isn't always the easiest thing. We're in Vegas, and you can even see the famous strip from the golf course do the players need to roll the dice have a little gamble out on that course i think you have to gamble everywhere on the pga tour but in las vegas i think it's required isn't it be rude not to let's get down to the action okay second shot chosen the pitch perfect swing oh beautiful shot oh, that's beautifully judged Oh, this will be good for the momentum. Let's make this birdie putt. Oh, oh just yeah, yeah. Just three feet to the cup. Good looking putt. Solid par putt, that. Okay. Starting the round for at even par. Tied for 37. The second at TPC Summerlin is a par four measuring 469 yards from the back tee. It plays slightly downhill, so a strong drive here will set up even just a short iron approach. However, there's a huge waste area to the right, so accuracy off the tee is required. The smart option here is to lay back with the three metal and give yourself a full shot in, and also take one club less into this green as it will release down the slope. Earlier on Let's hole four. Billy Horschel from earlier. Okay, let's have a look then. Don't make me wait. Third shot now. Billy Horschel. Ooh. Not a bad shot, that. Oh, a little trickery, no doubt about it. An absolute beauty here. Let's return to live play now. Try the ball 315 the yards. And we got that. It did say we need to take it a club less. So. I think that's about right. Going with the nine iron, a little I think. fast. A little fast. Oh, 
Yeah, that looked pretty good the whole way. Okay. Yeah, it's about 14 feet to the hole. Slight. This one's dialed in. Always nice to hold one for a birdie. Let's go. Currently one under for the day. The third hole at TPC Sumlin is a very strong par four measuring 492 yards. There's a huge ravine that works right up through the middle of this. It requires a very strong drive up the right half to go at this green. Oh so no. There is a big fairway to the left if you want to tuck over and get up and down for your par that way. This lie is not great. Looks to be going with the fire vine. Good option. I'll take, take your that. medicine and try and get it up and down from there. And here we are with the third shot. <laughs> He's got a par out here. Let's see if he can make it. Okay. Looks like it is going downhill, so we have to be careful. A little careful here. Ah, uh, that hurts. Not enough. Putting for bogey. Yeah, well hold. Let's move on to the next. Okay. And with that now, back to level par. The fourth at TPC Summerlin is a pretty straightaway par four, measuring 450 yards from the back tees. The fairway bunkers down the left and right are to be avoided. Really, not perfect much to swing. 100% power. On approach. Straight down the centre of the fairway. That's a good looking shot there. I think we need to go one club up. Shot is short a swing. Got to count for the slope of the green. Choosing the nine iron here. That might be one club too many. Yeah. Knew it. This would be a momentum saver here, getting this up and down. I think we need to aim it slightly to the left. There, I reckon. Mm -hmm. Big power saver coming up for this fella. I'm just gonna. I'm, I'm gonna put preview this because I'm a little bit concerned about the. Right about there. Oh yes. Will hold. Now six strokes back after that hole. The fifth at okay. TPC Summerlin is a par three measuring 197 yards. Depending on where they put the tees on this hole, ensures the type of club you need to get at it. If you're going at it, make sure you avoid that bunker that's short and right. Oh, this one's right down the pipe. Ooh, I'll oh, hit the fl yeah, hit the flagpole. You the green mm. and have a putt, you'll take it. Putting for birdie. Is that one gonna get there? Well, Not quite. Well, this would be a good one to make. It's for par. And down it goes. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. Right, we've got, we've, got, we've got a lot of work to do, the guys. The TPC Summerlin is a staking par four, playing 430 yards. There's a big waste area up to the left-hand side that needs to be avoided. If you can position your drive on the right half of this fairway, it gives you the best shot up the hill to a green that is not protected by any bunkers. Okay. I think that's about right. Going with the pitching wedge here. Mm. That dog will hunt. Well, this will be a bonus. Right on 17 feet from here. No. Just didn't drop. An opportunity to make their par. Job done. Let's head to the next. 
So no movement there. He stays it even with the car. The seventh at TPC Summer is a short par four measuring just 382 yards off the tips. Really, you just want to avoid the trees on the left-hand side because that will prevent you getting at the green, which is well guarded by bunkers and trees. Lay up, short right. Oh, no. Nice little wedge in here and try and make a birdie. And John, what's this one looking like? They're deep down in there, guys. I do not envy them, but uh, looking forward to seeing how they get out. Okay, phase one complete. Uh, you've got to make a good putt here. This putt is about 10 feet from the hole. If it's up, it could be in. Mm. Can make this one. It's for par. And well hold. Let's move on. Okay. Not the greatest. Our man on the ground, John, he's down there. What's the news? Well, guys, we're taking a look at Gary Woodland here on the 7th. On the 8th, you mean. Get right. Second shot here on the 8th. Wow. From there? That's in. They've hold it. That'll be for Birdie. And that'll promote wow. a good move up the standings. And after that effort, let's take a look at how it stands. Right, we're dropping. So we need to pick up our game here, guys. That's pretty much exactly where I wanted it, to be honest. Aye! The three wood. Uh, it's out to the right for sure. It's Even in the playable area. Day. That's good. That's good, our man John on the ground. There's something brewing down there. Let's find out what it is. Well, guys, I'm down on the 10th. This is Billy Horschel's next shot. Oh, that's great. It just oh, missed oh, the oh, hole. Oh, oh, oh. oh, that was a beauty. And back to the course with the live action. If he makes right. this, he'll save his par. Right, let's have a look at this. Great stroke. Ah. It's always good to cozy it up to the hole on a long putt, isn't it? And this one will be for bogey. Let's take mm. a look at the leaderboard. And a little slide down the standings after that hole. The ninth at okay. TPC Summerlin is a par five measuring over 563 yards. Really, the main aim here is to just avoid that bunker off the left of the tee. Then, if safely in the fairway, you can get after this green. A strong shot will play to the left half of this green and feed down to any hole location. A birdie chance, no doubt. Typically played in the fall portion of the season, but it really does have a great field these days. The Perfect Shriners swing again. For Children's Open, staged in Las Vegas. A great atmosphere around in the city. Rich, what do you like the most about oh. it? Oh. We're in Vegas, baby. I mean, <laughs> what's not to love about Vegas? And the players love it too, but they also love what the Shriners Hospital for Children is all about. They give so much money back to the charities involved. It's wonderful. They bring a lot of the kids out, and the players understand it. They know it. So as much as they love coming to Vegas, you know, letting their hair down a little bit, a lot of it has to go back to the charity component. And that's why they come. The golf course is fun. You can free will it out Jim here. Jim the beginning. Of the year, they want to come out and they want to Back make nine. some birdies. They want to test out new equipment. They want to test out new swing theories. They want to come out and work on their game a little bit in a competitive environment. And there's no better environment than this because they can go out and see where they're at because it's usually no wind, warm conditions, and you can get a good judge of exactly where their game's at. So I think players use this as a building block for the next year's play. And what a venue. I mean, it, it's just you get rewarded for good shots. You get penalized for bad <gasps> but it's a really good oh. time to go. Oh, out. look at that. Swing theories, work on your game a little bit and kind of see where you're at. And it never hurts to make a fast start to the new season. Of course, this is part of that wraparound schedule. And if you're catching a few shows as well or heading into the casinos, well, you get a complete week, don't you? Wow. I mean, there's 
Nothing wrong with a little bit of fun in Las Vegas, is there? As long as it stays in Las Vegas. Hole 10. And this effort by Justin Thomas. Getting ready to play their third. Oh, how good how? was that? Oh, beautiful little pitch shot down the hill. Wow. Thank you. Gets it to go. Wow. Great shot. Let's take a look at the leaderboard as it stands. Looks like we're playing alongside Justin Thomas. We're now one under after hole 10. Francesco Molinari leading. At the TPC Summerlin 11th hole, par 4, measuring 448 Ooh. yards. The big bunker down the right side is to be avoided at all costs. And there's also a little tree there right. which might affect any line of sight approach to this green. Oh, that's a sweet looking swing, that one. One a bit left. I'll take that. Sitting at minus one. Let's have a look. Hmm, should I go club up? Hmm. If I got 101% power, that might do it. Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. Oh, absolutely flushed. Scorecard filled with threes never hurts. Good putt to make this. Looking great now. Yes. Up to minus two. Trailing by four strokes. See Jim, Jim Furyk leading, minus six. Francesco Molinari on minus five, along with Brant Snedeker and Justin Thomas. The 12th here at Summerlin is another short par four. 442 yards off the tips, but plays slightly downhill and leaves just a short iron approach. The only real danger here is the big body of water. It starts around 150 yards short and goes right up past the green. That wow. looks to be a fairway finder to me. Down right there. Now intrepid on course reporter John standing by. Down here on the 13th, fellas. This is Gary Woodland's next shot. Time for the fifth shot. Gary Woodland. Oh. Not again. He's oh, it again. My, how about that for a par? What that was for par. Wow. From a fairway bunker, simply remarkable. Wow. Okay, let's get back to the action. Coming off a string of three birdies. We've got a bit take into account the water, the water on the right. Hope this does not go right. There it is a bit. Yeah, good swing. This one's heading up onto the green for sure. That's a terrific I'll take that. shot and sets up a birdie opportunity here at the 12th. And this putt to move into the top 10. Right, it's a right to left, so... Good stroke. Oh! <laughs> That's frustrating. Yeah, you done right. coming up. And that puddle drop. Well done. And just keeping it in neutral on the leaderboard. Okay, tied for 17th. The 13th at TPC par five. is a monster par 5, measuring over 600 yards from the back tees. The big hitters with a tail breeze can cover that bunker on the left-hand side. But if you want to lay up, make sure you're giving yourself the right number because there's a lot to this green and plenty of ways to three putt it. Be careful on approach. This one might roll into the rough. Onto the sand. Setting up in the bunker here. Not exactly where I wanted it, but never mind. Nice little sub shot it's a here. Distance on that one. A couple under at this stage. Perfect swing. That's a pretty handy shot. Hmm. I'll take and that. Yet another green here in regulation. 
the iron play today has been absolutely stellar. Luke, the greens and regulation, just a fantastic accomplishment. Great to watch. Mark it down. That's birdie nice. number five. And that will take him to three under. That wasn't too bad. Let's head over to the 15th hole, shall we? Doing all right so far. Who have we got here? Billy Horschel. Ooh, good shot. Nicely done. So right. with another hole behind us, let's take a look at the leaderboard. Three under. Top ten. Tied for ten, sorry. Always positive okay. coming off a birdie. Let's see what happens here. I'm within seven and a half feet of the pin from the tee shot on hole 14. Right, so need to let's see if we can work this out. So we need to put a bit of right. If I go up to about here, obviously it's a one mile an hour wind. If we put some backspin on it, uh, so hang on, how do we do backspin on this? Um, I can never remember. we do about that I think I might be all right well that's the perfect shape just controlling a fade no no backspin but not a bad approach he'll be putting slim chance here for birdie but you never know okay learn from that so we need Pretty much almost somewhere around this vicinity, I reckon. No? Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? Just a four footer remaining. Yeah, nothing okay. to sweat over that one. We'll hold. He's currently tied for 10th. Okay. The 15th, the TPC Sutherland, is a great short par four. In fact, a lot will try and drive it in the tournament. If you want to lay it back, you've got around about 115 yards uphill to a green where you can't see right. those back hole locations. However, a good aggressive play here must avoid the pot bunkers around the greens or the big waste area to the left. A chance to make a birdie here or even an eagle. Mm, that's going in the bunker. And this effort by Justin Thomas. They're in the bunker, looking for an up and down here. For par. Oh, that one just missed the hole. Oh, what a wonderful bunker shot. Let's get back to it, shall we? Sitting at minus three, currently tied for 10th place. So hang on, if we put a little bit of backspin on it. Yeah, that's well played. I Safely think I've put a lot more, I think I should put more backspin. He's put about 11 feet in distance. Ooh. Par putt coming up here. It's got a chance. And now at three under with those finishing holes remaining, you could take it deep here. Okay. And just a few holes uh, remaining. Minus six is Let's see beat. what they can produce. The I don't think I'm going to win this. TPC Sumlin is another one of those great scoring holes en route to the finish. A par five playing 560 yards. A well-struck drive up the right half here gives you a chance to get at this green in two. If you are going for the green, make sure you've got enough club because that huge penalty area in front of it will ruin any score. Be careful going through the green here as well because getting down from over the back is not that easy. And Rich, I just keep watching this name moving north on the leaderboard. They're pulling out all the stops right now. I tell you what, they're getting an awful lot out of their round. If the leaders aren't careful, this player could catch them. All right, John, how's this putt looking? Looks like a 24-foot putt. 
Oh god, not even close. Right. Um, let's have a think about this. So we need a roughly about something like that. This one looking really good. Oh yes. That's a good putt to make. We'll take that. Step aside, gents. This man's marching into the top five. Well, I'd like to have one more look at that shot. Let's go. And stepping up the standings after that effort. Managing to chase down the leaders, closing that gap. Gotta like it. Nice. Two holes to go. The 17th at TPC Summerlin is a downhill par 3, playing 196 yards. Jonathan Bird once famously holed out in the playoff here to snatch the title. The green shapes right to left towards the hazard, so make sure if you're going to go for it, be very accurate. Going with the hybrid. This is a good time to get hot with the tournament on the line. Not a bad approach. Grab the putter from the caddy. You're dancing. And this putt to move them into a tie for second. And then it should make it tied going into the final hole. will move into six under par. On the final hole. Let's go. Well, it's time to head back down to the fairways. John, what's up, mate? Well, guys, over on the 18th hole now. This is Gary Woodland's next shot. So and let's see how we get on. The third shot. Oh. What a shot. Oh, wow. In the bucket. Lovely shot out of the bunker. That's in tight. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. By what, Adam Scott. Inching closer to that top spot on the leaderboard, things are definitely heating up. The 18th at TPC Sutherland is a 444-yard par four with a big body of water just beyond the gully, which you've got to drive. Make sure you avoid those bunkers on the right side to give you a good iron into this green. Well, that didn't look like their best swing there. Mm -hmm. That's all right, we're on the fairway. That's Playing all right. from around 160 yards. One stroke off the lead. Opting for the six iron. Well, this one might need to get down a little. Lovely effort, that. All right, let's keep the focus here. This is to win the event. Their short game today has been absolutely sublime fun to watch. I don't see where this goes. Oh, God. How on earth are we going to get this? So that's roughly one and a half from here. I'm trying to work my maths out here, guys. So that's one, roughly 1 1.6. So from here, 1 point to there. So it should be somewhere over here, right? It's unfortunate, Luke. I can only imagine what is going through this player's head right now. Disappointing to say the least. This putt is for a score of 65. Always rooting for this player, Luke. I hope this one goes. And that will do it. His work is done here. That's a shame. They came oh so close to what would have been an incredible comeback victory. The stories that we could have told if they completed the victory would be endless. Unfortunately, not getting it done, but still, what a performance on this final round. Well, on behalf of myself, Rich Beam, and all the hardworking folks at HB Studios, Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time. Just got a bronze trophy, reliable contractor.
Yeah, I don't think there's really much we could do. Adam Scott, shout out to you. The Australian uh, won this one by two shots. G we're tied with Jim Furyk, Brand Snedeker and Justin Thomas. All um, Americans. Uh, some people may recognise a few names on there. Shane Lowry, Francesco Molinari, Gary Woodland, as well as Kevin Nart and Corey Connors make up the top ten. So, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments box down below. Uh, we're currently still level 12. Getting loads of XP. Managed to get all three objectives completed, which is a good thing to see. And that was really exciting. I don't know what your thoughts are. Let me know in the comments box down below. Uh, we're going to move on to our next um, event, which is going to be coming up in the next episode. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. Uh, in the second I will tell you where that uh, location is going to be when we get back to the main menu. Um, I want, uh, if you've got any like, tips or any advice you would like to give me, leave your thoughts in the comments box down below. Cool. Now you complete your first contract, you're a feature browser and choose your next sponsor contract. You can access the sponsor help through the sponsors on the player tab. Each band will offer up to three difficulties to sponsor contracts to challenge your skills on the golf course. Right, so the next one we'll be taking on is the Southern Open at Hickory Creek Golf Club. So. Uh, obviously got different contracts we can choose from. Uh, we've got Adidas here, so what we got with Adidas? Uh, basically got different um, contracts there. Adidas sounds like a good one to me. Uh, if anyone's got else got any other ones that you think is a good one idea? Taylor made. I did say I was going to go at Under Armour at some point, so... Should three consecutive birdies for a single round. That's going to be quite difficult in honesty, but uh, might give this a little look through here, guys. Um, if anyone else has got any ideas uh, which one I should uh, take on, let me know in the comments, guys. Like I say, um, got all sorts of different rewards there. That's going to be really exciting. Under Armour, the one I said I was going to go for. Um, that looks interesting. Um, I need to have a, obviously have a big long think about this one. Uh, Bridgestone Golf, another big name in golf there, Bridgestone. Um, obviously they're going to be a lot more, these are going to be a lot more challenging than the golf club ones. Um, like I say guys, if I'm up for any advice, let me know in the comments guys, and I'll see you soon. Until then, peace out.